non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD, has become the world's most common cause of chronic liver disease. People with fatty liver disease, have abnormal amounts of fat in the liver. If you have fatty liver, but no other liver damage, you are thought to have a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Fat accumulates in the liver when it malfunctions, or when conditions such as diabetes mellitus, or high triglycerides are present. When fat builds up on liver, it is like getting a burn on your skin, causing redness and heat, a sign of inflammation. NAFLD often develops silently into more severe form, and patients may not notice symptoms. Having this form of chronic liver disease, is often discovered by chance, like when blood tests find high levels of liver enzymes. Too much fat in the liver, can lead to inflammation, scarring, and cell damage. Fatty liver disease, can cause serious complications, if not treated at an early stage. If untreated, NALFD is likely to progress into liver cirrhosis, and end-stage liver disease. Chronic liver disease, and cirrhosis may also result in liver cancer. But just as burns can be treated, NAFLD, can be reversed or cured. Current guidelines suggest, that people with NAFLD, who are at risk of liver cancer, be screened by ultrasound, and lab testing every six months. Among the cause of fatty liver, includes family history or genetic inheritance, obesity, rapid weight loss, diabetes, fats in the blood, and side effects of taking medication. Currently, 25% of the global population have some degrees of NAFLD. On the other hand, 90% of the obese population have some degrees of NAFLD. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is commonly found in people with metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, high levels of fat in the blood, and obesity. More specifically, approximately 60% of patients with type 2 diabetes have fatty liver. Additionally, regardless of body weight, having type 2 diabetes, considerably increases the risk and severity of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. With that, people having type 2 diabetes, are likely to die due to chronic liver disease, than non-diabetics. People with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, often have a combination of the following. High levels of bad cholesterol or low-density lipoprotein, low levels of good cholesterol or high-density lipoprotein, and high levels of blood fats. NAFLD is a serious public health problem worldwide. However, no medical treatments, have been specifically approved for its treatment yet. Diet plays a key role in the development of fatty liver disease. For that reason, dietary recommendations remain the first step, and a key factor to reverse fatty liver disease. 
following healthier food choices, are particularly important in people with fatty liver disease, and they need to be careful in what they eat. Current evidence has shown the negative influence of the following diet-related factors. Too much calories. Excessive eating of fats, mainly saturated fats and trans fats, as well as intake of added sugars, mainly fructose. Studies have shown that higher caloric intake is a significant contributing factor to having non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And so, NAFLD patients or those at high risk for having the disease, have to avoid or minimize eating of, foods with added sugars, excessive fat intake, and too much calories in the diet. A way of eating, a pattern with high amounts of fast foods, soft drinks, processed meat, high fat dairy products, mayonnaise, salt snacks, sweet desserts, organ meats and refined grains, was linked with greater risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Whereas, an eating pattern, with high intakes of fruits, vegetables, nuts, olive oil, low-fat dairy products, fish and garlic, was linked to reduced risk of having an ALFD. Currently, the most important approach, to control an AFLD from developing into more serious stage, are lifestyle changes that are towards adopting a healthy diet, and increased physical activity. And so, eating a healthy diet, doing more physical activities, and reduced body weight, are the basis of the treatment approach to fatty liver disease. Dietary changes, that result in weight loss, can reverse or prevent further damage to liver cells. Weight loss, can help reduce fat in the liver. However, slow, steady weight loss, as opposed to rapid weight loss, is recommended. Rapid weight loss, can actually worsen the condition. In losing weight, the goal should be to achieve about 10% or more than 10% overall body weight loss. It should be noted, that just by losing 10% of your current body weight, will be enough to reduce liver fat, and lessen the harmful inflammation. One can aim for 10,000 to 15,000 steps, based on the approval of your doctor. Conditions of people with fatty liver disease, improve significantly, when there is modest weight loss. Having said that, weight loss should not exceed 1.6 kg per week, so as to avoid a worsening of liver damage. Reducing body weight, through a low calorie diet, improves liver function, and fatty changes in the liver in patients with NAFLD. Studies have shown that low-calorie, plant-based diets, are the most effective dietary pattern to treat NALFD. NAFLD patients, or those at high risk for its development, are advised to follow a health-promoting diet such as the Mediterranean diet, vegetarian diet, and DASH diet. Among the similarities of these diets include avoiding sugary foods and drinks, less red meats, less processed meats, less animal fats and oils, more eating of vegetables, fruits, legumes, and whole grains, adding nuts, seeds and olive oil in the diet, and the consumption of more fish. These diets, Mediterranean diet and reduced calories diet, are found to improve levels of blood fats, and liver enzyme tests.
Based on the scientific evidence available, the best dietary pattern to prevent or treat NAFLD should promote. 1. Minimal eating of sugary foods and sugary drinks. 2. Eating less red and processed meats and animal fats. 3. More consumption of vegetables, fruits, legumes, whole grains, nuts, fish, seeds, and olive oil. So, let's take a look at what you can eat, when you have a fatty liver disease. It is recommended to avoid, highly sweetened drinks, and foods loaded with added sugars. It is also important to eat less red meats, and to reduce eating processed meats, and animal fats like butter. Shift to unrefined carbohydrates, by choosing more whole grain breads, and cereals. One should eat more fruits and vegetables, and try to consume legumes, nuts and seeds. Use olive oil, or alternatively, peanut oil or canola oil in preparing and cooking foods. In many studies, high intake of sugary drinks has been linked to weight gain and increase in blood fats. Fructose deserves special attention. Read food labels and list of ingredients. Avoid products with high fructose corn syrup. High fructose form syrup is a form of added sugar that is readily changed into triglycerides in the body. The intake of fructose from soft drinks contributes to likelihood of having fatty liver, while fructose from fruits is not. This could be explained by the lower fructose content in fruits, and because they contain beneficial phytochemicals, micronutrients, and fiber. As a substitute to sugary drinks, drink water. Also, go natural. By drinking fruit juice. Try low-calorie beverages or diet soft drinks, and other artificially sweetened beverages. Choose water. Water is the best choice for quenching your thirst. If you find plain water is boring, you can add one quarter, half cup of 100% juice to sparkling slash seltzer water, or you can add some freshly squeezed lemon or orange juice to plain water or sparkling water. Make your own unsweetened iced tea with decaf tea bags or herbal tea bags. Choose low calorie drinks, but moderation is important. Here are more specific tips. Number 1. Half of your plate at a meal should be vegetables and fresh fruits. Number 2. Half of the grains eaten should be whole grains. Number 3. Choose more fish and chicken instead of red meats. Number 4. If consuming milk, choose fat-free or low-fat milk and yogurt. Number 5. Consume foods and drinks with less added sugar and saturated fat. Meanwhile, fat consumption has a dual effect on NAFLD development. Monounsaturated fats and specific types of polyunsaturated fats have a preventive effect against fatty liver disease. Whereas, saturated fats and trans fats have a negative effect. Also it is advised to lessen intake of red and processed meats, and animal fat. Nuts 
fish, seeds, and olive oil, which is abundant in monounsaturated fats, and omega-3 fats, should also be included in the food choices. As part of lifestyle, change in the level of physical activity, is another key measures to treat or prevent NAFLD. Increase in physical exercise, help the body to lose weight. Studies revealed, that exercise gives beneficial effect on reducing the fatty liver disease, even without significant weight loss. Additionally, after overall exercise, fatty liver disease blood test indicators, such as enzymes, ALT, AST, and blood fats, LDLC and triglycerides, were found lower. Also, resistance training, was found more effective at lowering blood fats, triglycerides, and cholesterol. Mind your health and wellness. Practice moderation in everything.